Hey everyone, it's Tanika. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup haul. All the products I'm going to show you are from the high-end category, so if you're interested, then keep on watching. The first stop was Mecca, and I got a few goodies from there. The first thing is this Stila One Step Correct Primer. So this is a skin tone correcting and brightening primer, and it comes with the three little layers in here. You've got green, peach, and lavender. So the green is for redness, the peach is for darkness and dark spots, and the lavender is for any swollenness in the face. I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and I definitely think it helps tone down the redness so that when I put my foundation on, my skin is just looking mm, one color. No redness peeping through. It's a very moisturizing primer. It feels really comfortable on my skin. So I really, really love it. Definitely recommend. Next, I got a few facial sprays. The first one I got is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Vera and Rose Water. So it says on the back that you can use it to set makeup, soothe your skin in dehydrating conditions, or to give your skin a quick boost anytime, anywhere. So I got this one because it is getting into the cooler months now in Australia. So in the morning, it's nice to just give my face a little spritz and freshen myself up. And then next I picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So I had previously already used a whole bottle of this, so I needed a new one, but they have come out with new packaging and I think a new formula because this one smells different to the old one and not in a good way. I really love the All Nighter Setting Spray. This is the long lasting one. It definitely holds my makeup on for longer periods of time. So definitely something I recommend. It's just that new smell that I just, I can get past it, but it's not nice. The last thing I got from Mecca is some skincare, and this is the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose, Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. So on the back, it says that TLC Framboose is a refreshing hydrating gel that resurfaces dull, congested skin by gently lifting dead skin cells away, revealing an even toned and radiant complexion. So I have problem skin. I've had problem skin since I was about 13. In the last couple of years, I've been using a BHA liquid exfoliant and I use one from Paula's Choice. Now that is only a 2% formula and I just feel like my skin has come to a bit of a plateau. Like it's just not doing anything anymore. So I wanted to try something stronger and this formula here has a 12% AHA and BHA blend. So it's a lot stronger than the one I was using previously. It's only been a few days. I can't really see a lot of change right now, but I'll give it a week or so and hopefully I see some really good results because I'm really sick of having acne. Like, come on, I'm 25. Can y'all just go away? Next, I went to Sephora because it has opened near me recently. So of course I had to go have a little visit and pick up a few things. The first thing I got is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. I've been eyeing this one off for quite a while now, so I wanted to go into store, have a play with it, you know, swatch it a little bit, see what I think, and I loved it. I just had to get it. From pictures, I thought that the packaging would be cardboard, kind of like the Zoeva palettes, but it's a really hard plastic. So this palette comes with 12 shades and they are all matte. I just thought that it would be a really nice palette for everyday kind of wear, but then it's also got the black and a few other dark colors in here that you can spice up your eyeshadow and go for that more darker, smoky eye look if you wanted to. Also, this shade here is a really cool toned brown, kind of gray as well. So I want to give it a go for contouring on my face because I think it'll be the perfect color. I used this today for the very first time. So I've got a little bit, you know, on my eyes there, not in the middle, that's obviously a shimmer shade. And this is all mattes. If you want to see this tutorial, just jump back a video. It's my chit chat, get ready with me. Next, I picked up the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, but I just got the little mini one. These are only $20, so I think it's a good way to try out more high-end mascaras without buying a whole $40, $45 tube. I haven't got around to trying this one yet, but I've heard really, really good things. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this mascara and what you think of it. Next, I got something that isn't too exciting, but it is very helpful, and it is a daily brush cleanser, and this is just a Sephora brand one. So what you do is get a little cotton pad, spray some of this onto your brush and just swirl it in the pad and it gets the majority of color out of your brush so you can go ahead and reuse it just in between the big washes. It doesn't make them absolutely spotless but it does do the job and it has a really nice scent to it so something that I will probably keep on repurchasing. 
And then the last thing I got from Sephora, I actually picked up online because I don't think they do them in store, but it is the Huda Beauty Mini Liquid Lipsticks and I got the brown edition pack. Minis are just such a great way to try products. This was $50 and you get four little lipsticks. I have had this for a while now and I have been using the liquid lipsticks and I love the formula. They're a really thin consistency and they don't dry down straight away so you can work on your lines a bit. And once they dry down, they're not uncomfortable and tight and dry. They're just really, really nice on the lips. And when I eat, a little bit of lipstick usually comes off in the middle and these you can just reapply over it and it's good as new. So the four shades that the brown edition comes with are Trendsetter, Flirt, Spice Girl, and Vixen. And then last of all, I did a little shop on one of my favorite online makeup stores, and that is adorebeauty.com. Now this product I've already done a review on, but I just wanted to include it in this haul because you know. And that is the Benefit Hula Light Bronzer. So Benefit finally come out with a bronzer, just light enough for us pale gals and guys in the world. I am obsessed with this product. I think it's a really nice color. It's really buildable even on my skin tone. So you don't even need to go in with a light hand, which is just amazing. Like I said, I do have a full review video, so I will link it down below if you're interested in watching it. I've pretty much already spoiled it for you in the fact that I love it, but I do give it a swatch and compare it to some other bronzers. So, you know, just watch that video after this one if you're interested. And then last of all, I picked up some more Sigma makeup brushes. I'm really trying to build up my Sigma collection because they have fantastic brushes at a reasonable price. So I really, really want to just, you know, build that up a bit more. So first of all, I got the Round Kabuki F82 brush. Now I usually use flat top Kabuki brushes. So I just wanted to give the round top one a go and see what it was like. And I do really like it. I don't know if I like it more than the flat top ones, but you know, I'm still experimenting. So we'll see how it goes. I personally prefer to use a makeup brush to apply my foundation because I find it gives a fuller coverage than going in with a beauty blender. I just feel like the beauty blender, you know, soaks up a bit too much product sometimes. So what I do is apply my foundation in patting motions with the brush and then go over it with a beauty blender after to get that nice flawless finish. And then the other brush I got is the Angled Brow E75. I am on the hunt for the best eyebrow brush out there. At the moment, I'm using one by TBX and it's actually an eyeliner brush, but I love how short and dense it is. So I thought that this one may be a contender in the competition, but I'm afraid it's not. The bristles are just a bit too long, so they bend a bit too much. You know, they're not as firm as I would like when it comes to a brush for my brows. I still need to have a little bit more of a play with this brush, but so far it's pretty good, but it definitely isn't as good as the TBX brush that I'm using at the moment for my brows. That is everything I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up for me. Come follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter if you aren't already. I will put all the links in the description box below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!